you're watching Weekend Saturdays. Here at Backyard Tech. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. You are watching Weekend Saturdays here at the Backyard Tech channel. Time for some audio visual stuff. And uh, for this, well, we're going to get the Lenovo plugged up to the control box for the Pioneer. Get the control box plugged up to the Pioneer. Get it all connected up. And then the other half, <laughs> there she is, can, uh, can use it. And she can then be streaming while researching, which is fine. Um, so what I need to do, I need to get a cloverleaf power cable for that. I should have one lying around somewhere. And then just work out where I'm going to put the control box and the HDMI lead and all the other bits and pieces for it. So let me go and find a clover. I've got all the power leads and the IEC and the HDMI. I just haven't got a uh, clover leaf for the uh, Lenovo yet. So let me go do that and we'll be back. Alrighty, so power's all done. We'll run power to the control box. Plug the control box up and then get the HDMI set so that all the audio comes out the uh, speakers of the Pioneer. So I'll get that set up now. All right, well, I've got the control box now behind this thing, which will be all right. That way it's, you technically can't see it because you can run the remote from the front end anyway. We've got the HDMI lead. So let me plug everything up, except for the channel mascot. Let me plug everything up and uh, we'll keep going. All right, so here's this Lenovo. Now, I don't remember how to turn this thing on. That's it there. It could be completely flat. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. It is it is slightly flat, to be honest. Um so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring this up. This is the CPU that's in it. It's literally just an Intel. It's nothing. Nothing funky. The other half just got a notification. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this boot up. I've got the Urgler for the Pioneer. And uh, then we'll uh, we'll see what we can sort out. All right. Well, it is taking some time for this thing to boot up. Actually, it's taking a long time. Oh, that would be why. <laughs> I must have shut it down and haven't started it since the last lot of Windows updates. I gotta be honest, I don't know how long Windows will last on this, to be honest. Um, I'll probably take the hard drive out of it because I think there is stuff on this drive. I'll probably take the hard drive out of it and uh, drop, you know, some, possibly just, you know, either Linux or just straight Debian on it. <clears throat> All right, we'll wait for this thing to continue and we'll come back. All right, so we'll grab the HDMI lead. Plug it in. Right. Turn the plasma on. Input three. No joy, your worship. Um. Display settings. Uh, can't see the second display. Hmm, hang on. Okay, we've got a little bit of an issue here because I'm starting to wonder if this HDMI lead actually works. That's HDMI, but no appearance, Your Worship. 
Hang on a minute. Okay, well, there's something wrong with my very long HDMI lead, which is a little concerning, to be honest. I'll have to figure out what's wrong. But anyway, all right. So we now have... That, there's a bit of shadowing there, but nothing major. So, all right, let me get this sorted out and we'll be back. All right, well, I'm now just going to set up... I've got the screens split so that the plasma's the primary panel. What I'm going to do now is do the final bits of image adjustment and we'll be back. All right, well, there's my YouTube channel. So, let's just... Uh, Bring up a video and make sure we've got audio on it. I am going to uh, put Linux onto this thing, but for just for the time being, I want to see if this thing will work. Uh, that's not what I want. Oy vey. Okay, something's not right here. Hang on. All right, let's try this again. There we go. But I am going to get rid of... Raids, there's the age-old question. Which raid? Yeah. Raid 0, raid 1, raid 1 with a global hotspot, raid 5, raid 6... I am going to put Linux on this. That is just utterly useless with Windows 10 on this thing. But, hey, I've now got a stream system set up for the Pioneer here. And... Uh, the other half will be able to log into Stan or Channel 9 or Channel 10 here and just stream using this. I think what I'll do, because of the specs of this thing, I will do MX19.1 32-bit. Because this is Windows 10 64-bit and uh, she's struggling. You can see it there. So... Um, I mean, it'll do. There's nothing wrong with it. But I think definitely I am going to uh, to um, put MX on it. But there we go. There's the new setup for the Pioneer. And uh, the job is done. There we go. All right, guys. That's it for the day here at Backyard Tech. I'll catch you tonight for the convos. Have a good one. Cheers. This has been another presentation from Backyard Tech.